Hi everybody, this is Melanie, and today I'm going to show you how to use the Hide Contour feature in Cricut Design Space. Let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to insert an image, and I'm going to use Artfully Scent um, for this, at least the first part, so I can show you how you can get more out of this cartridge because that's one of the good things about this particular feature is it gives you even more options with um, certain cartridges. Now you can use this feature on any cartridge and um, I use it quite a bit but I use it a, a lot like the slice feature I use it a lot with this particular cartridge so I can get a lot out of it. Okay all right, so let's see what we have here. All right, let's choose this castle here, this castle little card. Okay, so say I want to cut the castle here and not the little rectangle with it because I want to save paper and I just want the castle. So I need to hide contour. But first, before I can hide contour, I cannot be grouped to anything and I cannot be attached to anything. So I need to ungroup. See that was backing the little castle? It's white and so it's deceptive. You don't even know it's there. So always right click to see um, the option for ungrouping or detaching. So get rid of that. Now I right click again and go down to hide contour. And I it, show, it kind of fades, turns purple, and the lines that I want to hide contour light up when they are being selected. So I'm going to select that. It turns blue. Now I hit the mat here, and there you go. There's my little castle. So I can now just cut this in. I don't waste the paper. Okay. Another thing you can do is you can add more dimension to your cards or whatever using um, the high contour feature. Now let me show you what I'm talking about. We'll use this right here as an example. So this says bloom and to make this work I'm going to duplicate and get a second one. Okay. So I'm going to do ungroup on this one, get rid of the back, same here, okay, and I'm going to do hide contour. So I'm going to hide everything but the words bloom. I did it again. There we go. All right, so now I'll just have bloom. Okay, and on this one, I want everything but bloom. I'm going to change the color so it's easy to see. Let's make it yellow. And I'm going to move this to the back. So move backward. And I could now group this together if I wanted to. So if I needed to size it or um, move it around the mat at all, it can go together. All right. Well, that's pretty much it. So now you guys know how to hide contour. It's a great feature. Give it a whirl and let me know what you guys think. Have a great day.